Hello everyone, how are you going today? If you're new to this channel, I'm Serafina Serafina, how are you? And if you are a subscriber or a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that you're doing very well as well. Today, I'm going to be starting a brand new game. Yes, because I wanted to not just do Crash Bandicoot, obviously, I want to continue playing other games. And today's game has been one that I've had in my sights for a while, and that game is Dream Daddy. Now, for those of you who may not be aware of what this game is, it is a dating simulator. It's actually the first dating simulator I'm actually going to play ever, so it's a first for everything. I love it when there's first for things that are good. Um, so as far as I know, your character is a dad that is potentially dating other dads in the new neighborhood that you've moved into with, I think you've got a, like a daughter as well. There's seven different dads that you can choose from. And the only other thing that I know about this game, which I only found out recently, is that it was made by the Game Grumps. Or like their studio. One of the two, but they're, but they but you know, Aaron and Darren, Aaron and Darren. I'm, I'm kind of half off. I'm 50% off right now. Aaron and Da Dan play some part in this as well, like I'm not too sure how much, but yeah, they're one of the many people that I follow on YouTube. I follow a lot of people on YouTube. Honestly, YouTube is like where I get the majority of my entertainment now, like I don't really watch TV that much anymore. So there's that. <laughs> um, as someone who's looking for love at the moment, I thought why don't I do a crash course by dating fictional dads? What's the harm in that? So that's basically all I have to say at the moment I, that I can think of. Oh, I'm not starting off strong here. Uh, anyways, look, I think we should just get started with the gameplay, see where it leads us, because I don't know where we start and where we stop for this for today, I have no idea. But anyways, before we get started, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Oh, hello. Oh, sh shut up. Comment down below, hit the notification bell, and follow me on Instagram at Serafina underscore Serafina. So, with that all being said and done, let's get into the game. Let's get into Dream Daddy. And maybe let's get into the dads. What? Okay, I'm so nervous, because I don't know, I, I mean, I kind of, I've seen some gameplay on YouTube. Oh, what? What's this? Window screen resolution. Well, obviously it's gonna be that. Graphics quality, daddiest. Sure, why not? Windowed. No. What's the input? Girl, what is this? I don't know what this all means. Uh, anyways, this kind of thing reminds me of like playing games, like before you set it up, that you used to play in the 2000s, that you would set it up, like have that little like setup screen before you start. Is this too loud? I'm digging the vibe already so far with this. I don't know if I made this too loud, but let's roll with it. Okay, wait. Wait, hang on, wait, let me turn this up for a second. Silence for one moment. Stream is safe mode. Removes content copyright flag wall material for the, from the game. Uh, well, not that my channel is monetized in the first place, so to me it doesn't matter. It won't matter. I don't care. Anyways. Oh shit. Okay. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. Absolutely. That goes for anything, not just with dating. Oh. Catching Z's. That's me. Oh, a lot of Z's. Dad. Still sleeping. Dad, wake up. Now, I have to be honest here. <laughs> I would wake up. This was me this morning. I tried to get up this morning. And I didn't, because it was so cold, and let's just say I slept in a lot later than I really should have, but I'm just gonna go wake up. <laughs> mm. I finally opened my eyes and sat up. I'm laying in the bed, in the bed. What? I'm laying in the middle of the living room. Oh, spooning a moving box. Oh. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Okay. Just a simple good morning would suffice, please. Oh my goodness! Listen. You smell that no need for the attitude. It was like I'm. I'm Real that bad. Why was that noise so loud? How should I do this? Should I make it accurate to me? I don't know. What, what about options? On a Monday, I am waiting. Okay. Well, this is definitely not like for me. This is not me. I 
thing, this spill. I want this to be me. This is also not me. I'm sort of in, in between them, in between these two. So I'm just gonna go. Let's see. I don't know, actually. Possibly like this. Damn, I don't know. Skin color. What do you think? Hmm. What's this? Nah. That's probably more like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, I'm going to be here for a while. Hold on. Hold on for one moment. Let's hair. Oh, yeah. No, we'll leave the hair on. We'll leave it like that for now. Head. So. On a Monday, I am waiting. Oh, this. What's the shadow? Oh, uh, no, I'll leave the shadow out. All right, hair. Okay, let's see. What kind of hair should I go for? Not them having, like, fucking Goku-esque hair. Oh, my God. On a Monday. Ah, uh, yes. I have to include the Aaron and Dan hair styles in there as well. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. Honestly, let's do it like this. Because, like, this is not necessarily my hair. If you look at it, it's kind of... No, we'll go for the bun. Because I usually have it in the bun anyway, so... Mmm. This is good, actually. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go with that hair color. All right, I love that. Oh, now I need my hair up again. God, my face so far looks. I don't. I don't like it. Eyes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Pass. Hmm. Okay. Let's first go with. That looks good. On a Monday, can I see you? Can I check my number? Gee, they just. <laughs> oh no, not that one. Hang on. Let's go here. Let's go. It's kind of giving a bit of a seduction vibe. It's kind of giving Cave Sobrano's smash hit bedroom eyes looks. For stream Pash by Cave Sobrano, though, I've really gotten into that song this year. It's such a classic. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Ba -bam -bam. On a man. I think that's good. I feel like kind of slang, but where? Hang on. Where's my. Oh, browser's further down. Okay, noise is done. On a Monday, I am waiting. This is this looks quite nice, actually. All right, and then lip color. Oh, um, I don't know. This looks more like me, I guess. Brows. Okay, let's keep them on par and let's make them uh, a bit a bit thicker. Oh, that's actually kind of like how mine are actually. So, hello. Mmm, nah, that's not bad actually, we'll leave it like that for now. Now I just wonder if I should make my skin a little bit darker. Actually that's not bad, yeah we'll leave it like that. Alright, brows are done, facial hair. This thing is though, I always have facial hair on, so like, but this is, oh god, alright. None of these are exactly me, though. Oh, jeez. Okay. But I don't want it to just be, like, without facial hair, though. Because that's just not my style. Uh, I mean, I don't want that. Do I want to give off, like, Gomez Adam vibes? You know what? That's probably the closest we're going to get. Glasses. Mm, no, I think I'm good with, like, glass. Okay. But no. Piercings. No clothing. Oh shit, okay. Let's see, what's kind of my aesthetic? Let's see. Oh, that's not bad actually. Mmm. I mean, that's also kind of me outside of what you see usually. Well, I mean, I got the trackers on today and long sleeve because it is freezing. <laughs> so, this is no different. This is actually not different. This. No. Yeah, it's not bad. Comical, but no. I'm not gonna lie, I'm vibing with this one as well. The, mm, nah. That's kind of cute. No. I do look kind of hot, I'm not gonna lie. Eh. Giving Dangerfield vibes, if you know, you know. <laughs> Not a bad thing, I got that, I got a shirt from Dangerfield. I used it in my Suffolk reaction. I love it so much. I don't usually shop there often, but when I do, I go off. You know, I'm gonna go with this. Or is it, or should I go with this? No, this is good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it. Fantastic. Name that down. Well, shall we? Oh, fantastic. Yes, that's me. That's me. 
All right, let's be that dad. Be that dad. Let's go. Oh my god. I was just, I'm a little bit overstimulated right now, so oh, bear with me for one moment. Did you fall asleep packing? Well, I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. All right. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Sorry, the music's still a bit loud. Can I just change that for a second? No? Oh, bugger it. <laughs> that sounds like a noisy place. Sounds just like- huh. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. You should know, it's you, obviously. The only way your father and I- The only way your mother and I- Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go and say, the only way your father and I. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. <laughs> They've got taste, I'll tell you that much. But whenever we try to take them off, you start crying again. Isn't this the way? You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. As you should. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? How cute! <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. Why not walk in on a sauce? Cute old El Paso ad. If I had it. Hmm. Why do I remember- Why do I remember- Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realised you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realisation of your greatest fear, I think. Each to their own. I mean, children can be really scared of certain things growing up and just some things that may not be irrational. Hmm. Right. Yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Oh my gosh, you were a horse girl? Oh. She must have watched Saddle Club. If she's my daughter, absolutely she would have watched the Saddle Club. Hello world, this is me. Dad, I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. <laughs> Interesting. It's original, give it that. But it doesn't stick out that much, really. Granted, I named my first Teddy Martha. Why? We'll never know. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Yep. Nice try. But this is important black muffle later down the road. Oh! Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Not me being my Queen Stefani era. Oh my god, I actually was just a girl. Ouch, kid. <laughs> exactly. Don't remind me of that shit. The Scarminess Manifesto had a chance back in the day. Stop it. I look off into the- oh, 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 oh. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. You and me, we used to be together. Oh god, my voice. I promise that's not how I always sound. Hey, it's none other than Ruth Lorenzo. That made a lot of no, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was I was seven. I was gonna say eleven. Seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh right, Emma P was the one who. What should you do, girl? Trying to steal people's pets. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. I mean, we could go P for poop to pants, but. That seems a little bit too much of a bullying situation. Let's be crazy, wild, and quirky and let's go fight a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Yeah. Dad, that was you. I am disgusted. Not me being in a scar band and throwing a, a fired a flaming tennis ball at a police station. What the fuck was I doing? Oh right, I was a wild child. It could not be me. Could not relate. See, this is where you and me, that's where we cross the line. I was six when you did it. Oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm officially done. 
Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Also, why did you want to hit a flaming tennis ball for? What was the what was the reason? Where is the context, Bestie? I'm on to you. <sighs> yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Oh my god. Oh. Anyway, I've got to show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award he ever won. Okay, all right. She gets it for me. <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays, period. All right. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy to start to blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. <laughs> Don't I can judge for me. you. I'm not Don't judge you, I'm just saying. <sighs> Dad, still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. I mean, yeah, fair. Still proud of you though. Amanda reaches deep down inside the box and pulls out one last photo. Huh? Oh, he's cute. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Hmm. Oh. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. Let's go to surrogacy with that. I don't want some guy down there telling me I'm, you know, dilated a mundo. It's... Kind of a funny story. Is it now? We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says, What does he say? It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Aww. Damn. So, I'd like to know what happened. I'm hoping, like, for my sake that we, that we just broke it off. He's not, like, dead or anything. <sighs> he was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Wait, is he dead though? <laughs> she pats me on the back. Ah. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. See, I want the context. Is he dead or are we just separated? I, like, it's because it seems like he's dead. I don't want that to happen. Fucking shut up! I just wanna have a good time. You're right. Ah. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Oh, so we're moving out. Okay, cool. Hey, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, let's put on, let me go on my phone. We can put on Dizzy, but Ollie Alexander. Bring it up. Oh, Lord. Again, nothing new, nothing changed. Same old shit. Same old fucking shit. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. I mean, yeah, he's a dad, so he's probably what, like, I want to say late 30s? That's what I assume. Is this what I'm going to be like in my late 30s? The fact that that's, like, that's like almost 10 years from now. I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window, Kate, playing... Kate and Platch? Playing catch? You always had very strong arms. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Huh? You were a very imaginative child. She gets that for me too. Alright! Hey, remember when I broke the back whip? Oh, girls, enough. We get it, Amanda, you break stuff. Hmm. And there'll be plenty more stuff to, for me to break in the new place. Uh, and you will be paying for them too. I thought I said Memphis. What? Memories to make and stuff to break. That's worse to live by. That's, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be her motto. I just know that. Memories to make and stuff to break. Uh. You ready? We sit in the silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it seems a little bit to leave it behind. I mean, I get it too. I get it too. I've been fans a few times as well throughout my life, and there have been some places where I've, you know, hold special memories too, and it's, it's been hard to sort of like leave them. But I'm so happy in this new house, so I have no worries. I'm ready. Oh, shake it like a Polaroid picture, baby. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? So sell me our new cool pad. What? So sell me on our cool new pad. What am I saying? 
I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Shall I do it? <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown, dare, oh, I can't even speak properly right now. Uh, Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features a two car garage, absolutely, a two car garage. That's right, you heard me, a garage big enough is not one, but two whole cars. As well as room for all of my very important dad tools. Yep. And my motorcycle. Oh, he's a biker. He's a biker chick. Okay. I mean, with that fit, yeah, absolutely. My sick hog. Okay, um, the old still po- Okay, we're starting to get a bit off course here, and I don't know if it's just me, but it's starting to become a bit weird. Dad's little motor velocipede. <sighs> you stupid fucking dinosaur! Yeah, honestly, I'm with you on this, Amanda. Come on. The two-wheeled transportation station. <laughs> Enough! Thank you. Enough. I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life, and to be honest, I'm afraid of them. So, was that a lie? Were you just lying to me? Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is... You know, Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? No, nope. I'm 27 years old and I still can't for the life of me parallel park properly. Girl, I'm just praying if I have to parallel park, there's no one either in front or behind my spot so I can just maneuver in a lot easier because I am not parallel parking for shit. I panic and then I have to move on. That's how I parallel park. Mm. I'm not gonna have pops. No pressure, no pressure. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on the attitude. <sighs> well, you ate that one bit up, I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of a good joke. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mop when you say that, honey. <laughs> Clock her, Clock her, I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, you're a real... Huh. Don't you dare. Senior. <sighs> Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I kind of... I knew it. I knew it just then. Okay. Okay, maybe this is, this is Loki, maybe me then. I don't know. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore that. Yeah. But I won't forget it. So what's item number... What, so, what's that? so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dry it. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Alright. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Oh, I think I made a great mistake with the volume. And I don't wanna go back, I wanna just keep going. So, I'm just gonna suffer. Suffer. <laughs> Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Oh, she kicked it down. Okay. Nice form, sweet pea. I've got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. You know what? Yeah, I'm proud. Fuck that. I'm proud. Hmm. Man, all that karate chopping tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Oh. Sweetie. It's 10 a.m. We'll just need to unpack first. As much as I would also like to enjoy delicious and healthy ice cream. Sando. Ice cream sando. Are we sure? Oh, okay. Right now, that just sounds so Australian. Sando. No one says sando though. We got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom and I gotta pee real bad. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank but with actual sharks stand in your way. Let's get to it. 
Huh? Huh? Oh, I didn't mean to click so quick. Uh, exercise regularly and you'll stay healthy. Girl, I'm trying to. It's not easy as it looks though. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass and I get some good work done. Period. The washer dry unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Love that. Jesus Christ. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Okay. Hello? I mean, girl, same, like... Wow. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Okay, Joseph. I mean, I kind of know the general sort of air, if you will, of these characters. So, I've got my eye on you, Joseph. I'm watching you. Oh, yes, hi, I'm Serafino. That's my name, don't worry it out. That's what my name is. Oh, you're kind of a bit... Already? I mean, look, he is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. I... He does have some kind of charm to him. <laughs> oh, his voice is kind of a bit... Okay. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Huh? Don't whisper in your ear. You can back up a little bit. Hold on, hold on. You barely know me and you're leaning in and whispering. Oh, back up. Hold on. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> okay. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Amanda. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, cracker bits. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Mm. Children in general are just... tough. So... What is that saying? What is that air of tone saying? Kids in general are just tough. Is there something in your life that you regret, Joseph? I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Did I just put my foot in my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> yep, I have four kids. What have you done? Yeah, what have you done? What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant, oh. don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Yeah, because like, you don't even know this man. He's here at your door, giving me cookies and whispering into your ear. You expect him to know he has four kids? Nah, oh no. This is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Go, calm down. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, uh, no. Not anymore. Oh. Fuck it all, fuck it, motherfuck. I didn't want this. Death? In my dream daddy experience? I don't think so. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. How long though? Wow, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> we stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? The door opens this whole time. Man, you- I uh, know, like- If you're gonna come in, at least close the door. Bitch. I looked at Joseph quizzically, but complied. It's your house. Why are you giving... Mm. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. I... What was that? Okay. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. I mean, sure, tip a tap. Can I stop spitting? We shake hands to seal the deal. Hey. 
Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Mm. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Wink. Not the wink! Like, the sound. Ah! But, eh, sure. You know what? Whatever floats your boat. Whatever tickles your pink shirt. Oh. What am I- Oh my god. If this is how I'm gonna be with men in real life, my day in life is dead before it even started. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Another compliment. Hang on. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest cover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. You know, A for encouragement. You know what? A plus for encouragement and support. Love that for you. Where'd those cookies go? Oh. They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Honestly, if I was in Amanda's situation, I would do the same. No judgement. Huh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? You know what, Joseph can wait. Let's get some fresh air, fuck it. Let's hit the park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Okay, will you help me steal a dog? Yeah, nah. For the last time, I can't fit a dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. Yeah. You're breaking my heart, Pops. Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drips through the air. This place seems nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Government operative. <coughs> We're onto you, baby. <laughs> All right. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Heads up. What? <laughs> Ow! Delayed reaction, sorry. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. I'm a dog. Woof. A cork with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Wagging? I did not just say that. You know, I'm gonna be courteous, I'm gonna say hello, it's a cute corky. Off, off, I'm a dog, ah ha ha. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Oh cute, oh corky's cute. I mean, it's up to my interpretation, but I don't know. Corgis are right. I mean, they're better than pugs, I'll tell you that much now. Should I pet the dog? You know what? I'll pet the dog, yeah. But where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs. We need some of the chin scratches in here. Dare we try the butt pats? I'm not going for the butt. Uh, let's just go with head rubs to start off with. Or chin scratches. My sister's cat loves chin scratches so much. That is irrelevant to the situation though, so we'll go with head rubs. Is my phone? Nah. He seems to love a good head rub. All smells here. Love to see it. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs. Ugh. A guy in Hawaiian shirt jogs over to see us and takes the frisbee from me. I mean, like, he's cute too. Like, what do you want me to say? I'm a Libra. <laughs> ah. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for he people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll try it with my teeth next time. I mean, look, yeah, it's, anno it's annoying being hit in the head by a frisbee, but like, I don't inherently want to get off the wrong foot with people, so let's go. I'll catch you with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. 
Not ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Wait. Why is this one kind of... Oh, actually, wait. On second thought... I'm... Serafino, and, my, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Valid. Huh. Hi! Huh. Your dog's cool! Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll, where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karam Karama Oh god. You could be a nuclear physicist. Karamaz Karamazov. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she is the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Okay. Good for Daisy. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She is a precocious little youngster. What? Whoa! Ah. My natural dad instincts kick in. Hello? I'm being attacked. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my, my child's accomplishments. Uh, oh, 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 no. It's happening. <laughs> oh my god. This is a great reference. I love it. Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. <laughs> oh my god. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Okay, so I've got <laughs> Oh god. Oh shit, um... Shall we just brag? I don't know what else to do, I haven't played Pokemon in years! Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Period! Wow, congratulations! <laughs> Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, what's... I don't know. Band aid? Oh god. Um, 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 ah. Uh, okay, come on, Artie Boy, stream possibilities. You want to fill your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of the cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally appreciates you holding onto it. And that's what really matters, guys. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20. Okay. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, but I'm still winning here. Um, what's what's this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, um. Okay, what are the other- uh, can I go back? I can't go back, shit. Okay, um, uh, grey card, grey card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grey card out of your back pocket. Tad? Oh, shit. Awesome grades! Hey, pay, hey, hey! <clears throat> you really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it's kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Uh, yeah. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! Okay. We're taking it out next weekend! Good for you! How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky high hand things. It's extra powerful. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's brag, bitches. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helps an old woman with her grocery bags. Love that selflessness. Hey, hey. Alright. Did I mention Daisy said her first words at 10 months? Daddy? Bitch, I could count to 100 and back when I was 2 years old, okay? When you can do that, then we can talk. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh shit. Um, shall we go for the killer? Spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Alright, alright, let's see. Wow, congratulations Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Ah oh, shit. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. 
Amanda subconsciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. Oh shit. Oh no. We're tied. Let's brag. That's all, that's all we can do. We got. What's the benefit for? Brag. Uh, Amanda's in an all honors class since this semester. Okay, okay. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having a skipper grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. I lose 20? Nah, fuck off! Dang, he's really got a speed. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet with you two. Ah! Did you have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? I was this close to beating him. You, just because you won doesn't mean you won by a landslide. I almost got you beat, so... You know. So, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we live in my cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world, eh? Oh. <clears throat> There's no way there. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch style house on the corner. Oh, I know the house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Uh. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell, happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Uh, huh? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe he had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. Sure, Jan. It's not too late to minor in horse creative riding. Uh, uh. Yeah. Too close to the truth, Dad. <gasps> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Serafina. Oh my god, yes, she's got my name! Amanda Serafina! What a ring. What a ring to that name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh off the opic. The opic. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more. Enjoy the day. I mean, we'll go to the coffee shop. Let's go to the coffee shop. I gotta get my hands on a nice cup, whole cup of uh, 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 uh. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Let's go. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Huh? Yeah, I was like, what's wrong? Like, like, what the fuck? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? It's called being social, but I also understand social anxiety. Literally me. Oh, shout out to everybody with social anxiety. I kind of feel sorry for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. At least when I'm home, some guy, at least, I'm, at least when I'm at home. Whoa, 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 hang on. At least when I'm at home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Dad, and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go sit up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Okay, Jerry Seinfeld, calm down. Or do you leave it there and... Or do you leave it there and you... Or do you leave it there and you... Eh. Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush up, flush hot... And feel, and feel your face flush hot with the, with the shame. Ah, I can't speak! Woo! And feel your face flush with... Flush hot. Or do you offer you a fee, a fee, a fudo, a deer, a female deer, and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left their mug. Bessie, that's the ADHD talking. I don't know, yeah. Dad. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Well, yes! <laughs> and upset. 
We walk inside. Yeah. Hey. Hello, sir. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on, the, on a record player next to the stage. A little stage, in fact, actually. Hey. Welcome to the coffee spin, guys. How's it going? Oh, he's waiting. He's smile. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? Yeah, sure, why not? Mm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more comfortable to come to the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Oh, he's got a tattoo sleeve. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for a man with tattoos. So, uh, hang on. Alright, come to the case of Bruno. F the f off! I've had it with you! Go the f home! Ah! I've had it officially! Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me! So, what'll it be? Huh. I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a. Chai ant word. As in, like, the ant word? I see it in Sarah, straight back in your head. Godspeed you, black coffee. Ah, well, you know what? I love good chai, so we'll go chai antivid. Spicy, oh, oh. What was that all about? Keep calm, count to ten. One, two, three. I didn't get it. Oh, it's a pun. The antivid is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their Uh, evocative imagery in hyper stylized music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. And they're also low key a bit. Mm, I've heard some things. I've heard some things about D Antifit as well, so like. I'm not gonna go there. I don't listen to their music that much, but like, I kinda understood I think you freaky a bit, but like. Again, I'm not gonna talk about it. Hey. I'm doing the thing again. No, it's okay. Bessie, I love music too, if you don't know already. We're kind of in sync here. Have we got a BPM sync? But <laughs> hey. coming right up. Mm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. But I don't listen to Mac DeMarco though. Is it Mac DeMarco? Oh god, I hope I said I hope that's the right name. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want this in small, medium, or <laughs> biggie smalls? <laughs> um, medium. Ah. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh Um I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt says to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of his couches. What's his seal? What do you mean, what is his seal? He's cute! What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. But at the end of the day, is his indie records much cooler than mine? Hey. Hey! Oh, hey. Hey! Scar was cool once. You're delusional, you're delusional. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumber support, we sink right into it. Magnificent. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Uh, and, and, you, and you can admit that. That's fine. And man, it's not just me. <laughs> this place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. Oh my god, yes, our BP, I'm just so in sync. You should totally become friends with him. We could be friends. Or, uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? 
I can't be near people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See? We're making progress. So I'm gonna go and <clears throat> attempt. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Oh my god. How did you learn after all these years to just wait for it to cool off before you- Oh my god. Am I a bit stupid? Don't even think about it. Good one. Yeah, good one. <laughs> what was that? Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Serafino. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around at the shop. You two might get along. Oh, he's got a daughter too. Oh, they might. I think. Oh, no, no, they all have because they're dads. You are dumb. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda keeps my legs under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. It'll be our little central perk. Oh. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinions on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey, yeah. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor and sensations of. <laughs> Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Honestly, at this point, Amanda's my, my wing woman. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread a taste. Not the nana bread. If you want us to do free creative labor, I think that we should be, com be commensurate with commensurate. I don't know who this man is. With the uh, I've taught it well. We have trained for the day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Oh, more for me. Right. Yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Yeah. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. You don't say. Mm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. See, I don't know the Grateful. I don't. I don't know the Grateful Dead that much. I don't know who the fuck these are. Right said Fred. Right said banana bread. That has a ring to it. It's because it's got a rhyme to it. Right said banana bread. Like, come on. I'm too sexy for this. Uh, 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 I don't know the words. Shit. Like right said Fred. But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. How many young Gen Zs will know right said Fred? What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Rice and banana bread, that has a ring to it. Cause you're inside, outside, under my skin. Can't get you. He's, he's gags, he's gags. I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in. Really? Hey. Yeah, rice and banana bread. Strong decisions. That's our baby. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I shouldn't just leave saying baby to the professionals. I mean, I say it too, so like, that is some big stuff, baby. Hey, dude. Yeah? Hey. Oh, enjoy coffee. Thanks, baby. I mean, yes, I know, but like, hang on. Hey, dude. See? It sounds good when you say it. Don't they make a cute couple? Yeah, of idiots. <laughs> Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, reading over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet, just for a moment. Who's he? Oh. I hastily, I hastily, I, uh, I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch my, my, my starling. Me staring. Who is that? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? My fucking gun! Take it anymore! We finish up our drinks and head out. Hmm. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Need I say more? We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father was a rebel, sweetie. Now all aboard the train to Sleepy Time Junction. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. 
come behind. Uh, 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 oh, Serafino, bro. Hey. How do you know my name already? I turn around and grin. Oh wait, that's right. Hang on. Sorry, because I kind of know a bit of law already. Hang on. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? David? Tell me what's your favor. Oh. Bro. Bro. Oh, no. Hmm. Holy. Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while too. Oh my god, they were roommates. Amanda, dude, you probably don't even remember me, but you're so big now. The amount of times I've had family members that I don't fucking know say to me, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? I don't know you, and you tell me that you haven't seen me since I was this big. No. Ah. Hello. And hello, cute baby. Oh. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Yeah. <laughs> he picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Hmm. Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Oh, feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad, hang bad hangovers. Bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Oh my god, you don't know what I was going to speak. Oh my god, am I? I'm not dyslexic, but like, I thought this was something way different. Oh god. Oh, what you say, Queen? Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda. I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh man. I mean, I mean Ashley. Ashley's her name. I don't know. She actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Nice. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all co- Copacetic? Copacetic? I am f Copacetic. What are these words? Twins? You have three kids? Oh. Ain't life something, bro. <laughs> right? Keg Stan Craig is a father. Of three. Mm? Cake Stan Craig? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. Okay, looking even further, yeah, Craig's kind of cute too. Like, has he got pink eyes? He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. Nice. Is that the thing where you do a handstand on a cake and then drink from the cake? You should know, you're the one that's named Cake Stan Craig. But wow, what a moment. I won't forget. <laughs> he was very good at it. Mm. Ah, oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really got to keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late <laughs> to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Dude. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives us a little wave, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and his kids. I'm reeling. Mm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Ew! Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie bro. I mean, yeah, I can't agree. I agree with the man on that actually. <laughs> he jogs. He was jogging. Eh? He's like a totally different person. 
Eh, anyways, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <sighs> Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Oh. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, she's going to college. Oh, she's... Yeah? Yeah? Mm. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know. I know. I can't imagine. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Yeah. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Hey! A dog? Hey! Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Oh, shit. I thought I almost double clicked. I double clicked then. I thought I... Is that what it's going to take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Can't argue with that. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than a college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Oh. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls out one and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. McGowan is in... of the Rose kind? But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. Ain't that something? Open it! Mm -hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. No big deal. Hmm. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. Oh, with her teeth? Oh, girl, come on. <laughs> exactly. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh... The admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um... We... Uh. Her face drops. <gasps> Wait. Hang on. We're going to inform you that... Oh. Uh. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Damn, that's heartbreaking. I'm not even a father and that's heartbreaking. Oh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I know I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you off for sure. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Yeah. Uh. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. Uh. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Uh. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick thing plans. Shit. Yeah, sure. Let's go clubbing. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Mm -hmm. Alright, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. What did I do? I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Oh. Well, let's try and be a little bit more convincing. Nice. Mm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. You know, Eurovision. Duh. The game. On TV. At somewhere other than here. Oh. Oh, that's me. Sorry, I thought that was Amanda talking for a second there. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. <laughs> sure. Actually, no. Say no to drugs, kids. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Manage drugs. I wouldn't have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the best. I'm a street rat pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Like, seriously, please. Uh. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Hey. I give her a pat on the head. Hey. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Uh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Hey. All right then. 
I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clean out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Huh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. What's that mean? Wow. I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, so I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Oh, jeez. Let's go this way. Cool, okay. We're marching. We're walking. We're walking. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be? A big burned out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. A, a tiny dive bar? Was that a typo? Jim and Kim's, huh? Alright, it'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool ball sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I'll pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Oh, really? Alright, suit yourself. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. I can't read. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly coloured mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favourite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colours of the team I dislike, although I believe from the demeanour that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. What? A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Hmm. Good to see some fresh meat here. Mary. Mary! <laughs> I'm Mary. Come here often? Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Serafina, by the way. Ah. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh. I love how just so vague it is. The game. Just so, so... Insert word here. Oh, I love that team. And I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Oh my god! I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. No shit. Uh... Oh. Buy a girl a drink? No, I, like, I'm sorry, Mary. Mary, I'm not going to be enabling her drinking habits here. Uh, maybe some other time. Ugh. S suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunders off, setting her sights on the newest patron bar to enter. Hey. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in a the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. Jeez, okay. It's a brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Getting pins and needles. Oh my foot, calm down. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our te respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. 
He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man- Oh. Period. Sorry. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks. I'm Serafino. Oh. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Robert chuckles. Oh, hang on. Now he smiles. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Jesus, Louisa. Huh. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is it actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No. No. That be Neil. Neil works from across the bar. <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. <sighs> you a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Oh. You like shots? Okay, not the third, not the third one. I like shots. Thank you. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. <laughs> Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Yeah. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. I wish I had friends like that. You just wish you had friends. <laughs> okay, Serafino, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. I mean, I could compliment on a lot of things, but we'll skip the hand tattoo for now. I don't know if it's too forward to go for his, look, his rugged good looks. God damn. So we'll just start with the leather, leather jacket. I'm a sucker for a leather jacket as well. I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in my family for a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Curse, some will say. Okay, whatever floats your boat. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Oh, and so fucking hot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? I mean, I think one of my problems is really like mysterious, but like, what problems do you have though? Oh, I mean the dead husband and all, but let's just go with trying to make friends. Oh, uh, should I? I mean, it's Rome from a problem that's gonna be the one that he's attracted to, but I don't wanna do, I don't wanna say something that I'm not though. I wanna be my authentic self, okay? Let me be Ariana. Try to make friends. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yes, yes, yes. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, the kid being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Uh, no, oh, that's not. Really? Oh. Robert downs the rest of his drink. Of course not. That's a He gets up. Be right back. Got a pat on my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Oh, this is Neil. Never seen Robert talk this, this talkative. He must like you. I mean, I do have a way with men sometimes. Ha! <laughs> I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks he, I'm cool, then I really must be. I really must be. Robert comes, oh shit. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his other jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Mm. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live here? Oh my god, like, what are the chances? What are the odds? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Oh. Great place to be. Good neighbours. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. Mm. I don't kiss and tell Serafino. Hmm. So, are we doing this or what?
Doing what? Girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, what? <laughs> you know, do you want to come inside or not? Oh, uh, I mean, it depends on what you want me to come inside for. Do you want me to come inside or do you want me to come inside? Like, a wave of realization brushes over me. I blush. Oh, shit. You know what? Make every moment count. I'm not gonna lay on smooth. I'll just smile and nod. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me. Go, go. Oh. Oh jeez. Damn, if I knew it was gonna be this easy to pull in a guy. Ah. Oh. The key is to be yourself. Come on. Oh jeez. We only just moved in and you were already having sex. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs. Oh, he's got a double story. Uh, that's okay. Not not important. And into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. Oh shit. shit. He kisses me again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take mine off too. He hands Rome down my chest and so. Oh! Red alert! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Am I shaking? No, I'm not shaking. Nerves are sealed, baby. I, uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? Why don't we leave it here? Ooh, let's leave it here. I'm going to let you guys ponder on that for a while. Let's save it right here. Oh yeah, okay, because I've been filming for a long time anyways. So let's, let's stop right there. And, oh, 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 let me just quickly save, I know I saved already. Let me save one more time just to make triple sure. All right, all right, all right, now let's stop. Oh my God, let's go. Okay, so already so far, I'm enjoying myself. This has been such a fun game. I know it's gonna be fun. I know it's gonna be a fun time. You know, my first time doing a dating simulator. I'm surprised I haven't done it sooner, but you know what? It's the first for everything, like I said before. Oh, so we've already met, I'm assuming, already five of the seven dads. So far, you know, I mean, Joseph, he's not bad. I mean, he is a youth pastor, minister. He's he's with the church. Don't know about that, but you know, he, he's not bad. He's, 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 I'm not too sure how I feel about him. I mean, Brian, hmm. I mean, he means well. He's just really proud, I, I feel like. So, what can you do there? Matt, Matt's kind of cute. I mean, they're all cute in their own respect, but like Matt, 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 mate. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a bit musically inclined. That's kind of my wheelhouse right there. Craig is cute too, and he's also a familiar face. He's my friend from college. Oh, so there's history there. And Robert, I don't know if I intentionally wanted to go this far forward with Robert straight away, but we are about to do some things that I don't know if I want to do. I've only known this guy for like, what, a few hours and we're already like, Oh, but he's kind of worth it though. Oh God. Like he is kind of, is he kind of my type? I don't know what type is though. That's why I need to go out on the wall. Not that I don't go out on the wall, but I need to, I need to put myself out there more. But that's not, but that's not, that's not for today. So we've left it off on a very nice cliffhanger there. Oh, I'm going to see whether or not I want to take this further or not with Robert. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well, I hope you had fun today with this video, with, with starting this brand new game. I cannot wait to continue with this game. It's gonna be so much fun, I'll tell you that much right now. So, if you come this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please leave it a like. If you like my content, please subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. Comment down below, who are you liking so far? What are your thoughts so far? No spoilers.
I mean, I kind of know some things about this game, but I don't want I don't want anything to be actually don't say anything. Don't no spoilers, please. Who's the one for me? Who is who is the one for me? I don't know. I don't know yet. Hit the notification bell. So, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. Hit the notification bell so that you can get notified on when I upload next. Thank you. Thank you for enunciating properly, bitch. And again, follow me on Instagram at Serafina underscore Serafina. I can't wait to get on this game again. I'm hoping to do this at least monthly alongside Crash Bandicoot at the moment. So. We'll we'll see how this goes, but I do want to I do want to get back on this pretty soon. Until then, take care of yourself, treat yourself, do what makes you feel good, love yourself, you know, please take good care of yourself. And I will see you all very, very soon. See you later.